When Bob and I appeared the other night on uh, PBS's show Now, David Brancaccio asked us whether American media was, and journalism, American journalism, was in decline, in crisis, or in collapse. It was a leading question. We opted for collapse. And we did not do so to be dramatic. Uh, we did so because we deal in facts. And our book is, is about this collapse. Uh, and I want to tell you, it's not something new. It didn't just happen. Television journalism has been in collapse since the 1970s, early 1980s, as we saw local news, which remains the primary source of information for most Americans. Now I realize not for most town hall attenders. <laughs> but most Americans are very busy folks. They, they kind of they rush home, they flip on, they say, okay, give me, give me 22 minutes, tell me what's going on. Well, in that 22 minutes, we have had over the last, certainly the last few decades, a dramatic diminishing of the amount of local news coverage by our local news stations, and a dramatic increase in the amount of weather coverage. <laughs> you know, weather coverage comes free, right? Uh, you know, you get it. For, it's the national. The, the U.S. government actually tells you what the weather's, what's happening with the weather, and then you just put some very nice-looking person up there to point to a map. Um, but do we really need seven or eight minutes of it? And you know, if you go watch the news tonight, you're going to find it on TV. There's seven or eight minutes of it. That's because they're constantly trying to decrease the cost. Right? How do, I, how do we give people the sense that they've just gotten a package of news at the cheapest price? Well, the way you do it is to give them a lot of weather. And so you can tell the people in Seattle that it does rain. <laughs> Frequently. And, uh, and if it's a sunny day, you can talk about the fact that it's sunny for a third of the newscast. Now, TV, bad zone, bad scene. It really is living up to that, that promise of the, the vast wasteland. 